Hello. Uh, I'd just like to um, give a little energy update, some stuff that I'm sensing, that I'm experiencing, and um, just thought I'd pass it along, see if anybody else is uh, dealing with some of the same stuff. So one thing I've noticed um, in this mid-August COVID period is it feels like in the last couple of weeks for me and other people I've talked to, a lot of things have just dropped away. Um, a lot of issues, a lot of um, heavy energy. Uh, it's it's really kind of hard to talk about it and, and hard to define it. But the way it feels for me is just like, Things that I would have worked hard to do self-healing on before that would have taken a lot of time and effort and emotional investment and all of that, um, things have just dropped away effortlessly in the last couple weeks. Now, that might sound like a really great thing uh, to most of you, and it is a great thing. But that doesn't mean that everybody's going to perceive it that way. And that's something I wanted to talk about. That, you know, we define ourselves a lot of times in terms of our personality, of course. And a lot of our personality is a reaction to the pain that we've suffered in our lives and the adaptations that we've made. The adaptations we've made around feeling not good enough, feeling like we have to prove ourselves. Um, any kind of feelings of unworthiness, um, insecurity, all of that stuff. But it's not just the vulnerable feelings of that nature, but it's the what I call the scab of the personality that we use to overlay it, to, um, to calm the suffering. And so when we effortlessly clear a lot of our issues, number one, you won't necessarily know it um, because on the mental level, you still might hold the identity. And if the issues are removed, then what can happen is that there can be a sense of disorientation. If you define yourself by your issue, and then the issue's gone, you might have a little identity crisis. Um, you might not even know that's what it is. It just might be that things feel weird, things feel different. And um, all through this whole COVID period, there's been a theme that, that I've used in my own self-healing, and that is to recognize that certain things are dropping away. It's just really increased in the last couple of weeks, but it's been happening for the last five or six months, whatever. That... I've been spending a lot of time just integrating with what's already cleared. Rather than going and clearing issues, it's just more about catching up to the clearing that's already happened. So for those of you that are energy healers like me, uh, for those of you who do past life regression like me, it might be something to keep in mind that it's not so much that people need to clear issues as that they need to integrate what they've already cleared. They need to catch up and integrate the higher frequency they've already attained. Um, so if you kind of trace back the feeling um, of feeling strange or whatever, um, of feeling disoriented, you might be looking for some other issue. And the thing is, the issue's not even there. So the real issue is the disorientation from clearing an issue without even trying. And don't underestimate 
the confusion and the suffering that can result from unintentional healing, okay? If you have defined yourself, and most people don't even realize it, but if you've defined yourself as the underdog, if you've defined yourself as somebody who has to prove something to the world, right? If you have a big issue, and these examples that I give are only examples, there's infinite numbers of more issues that you could uh, go for, but if a huge chunk of your identity disappears, even if it's a negative identity, it's still really disorienting. Um, so I just wanted to give everybody an, uh, an energy update, and that's it. <laughs> so thanks for watching, and please like and share and subscribe and comment and do all that stuff that boosts my channel. I would love you for it. Okay, thanks a lot. Bye.